Here is the 5.5B mirror feature application. So we're in CAD model features part two, 5.5B. And we're not gonna do this first part because we've got some other mirroring we're gonna do. And the first one is a mirror feature application. And so the first thing is you can see this block and we're kind of drawing it on the left and we're gonna mirror it over to the right. So what I'm gonna do is when I go into Inventor and draw it, I'm gonna draw it on the left side just to show you a couple different things we can do. So um, just kind of an L shape with five and uh, 0.5 and 0.75. So I'm gonna start a new sketch on my XY plane and with my line tool, I'm gonna to go up and notice how I started at my origin and I'm going to the left. That's because we're going to mirror this and it's going to go over to the right. And I think I already messed up one of my dimensions. Yep, I'm not supposed to dimension this. And you can see as I'm adding my dimensions, I'm having some trouble. It put it right on the line. So I had to hit escape, go out of it, and I was able to just drag this top line back up. And that let me fix it. And this dimension is not supposed to be here, but this dimension is 0.75. So there we go. Now that's looking a little bit better. And when we go to extrude it, it kind of doesn't say, maybe if I click this picture, it'll give us a little bit more of a um, answer. This is one inch. And let's go back to the picture and see, it says 0.75. Um, I don't think there'd be much of a problem if I did it at one inch, because the tool we're trying to teach is the mirror tool. So there's my block. I need to put some chamfers on there, on these three corners, and they say to make it 0.25, but as some people who have done this have observed, the 0.25 is a lot bigger than, you know, they say R 0.25 fillets and the 0.375 hole, but the fillets at 0.25 are really big. So if you go, you know, half of that, which is 0.125 for the fillets, that's plenty good. And then for putting the hole in there, it would be nice if we put a point in there and maybe did a horizontal constraint. So it's in the midpoint. And let's just draw a line from this midpoint to that point right there and then put the point on the midpoint of that line. So now this hole is going to be in the middle there again. Um, not the end of the world where that hole is placed, but just to make it look nice. So we've got our feature and we need to mirror it. So over in the pattern area, we can use the mirror tool. And what I see a lot of people doing is just kind of clicking on stuff like this. You see, I was able to click on the three things, the original box feature, the fillets, and the hole, because I'm in the feature select. What you can also do is when you come into the mirror tool, you can also select them over on the left-hand side, which is very helpful. So I select what I want to mirror first, and then I click on the mirror plane. And a lot of people have been wise to know that we have planes here, and they've been making a plane on this face. And, um, you know, just making a, uh, a plane there. And I'm not able to get it without going super crazy, uh, but just creating a work plane. Um, and they've been placing a plane. Let's see if I go offset and just do a zero offset. There we go. So the plane, it was trying to do a bunch of random stuff. So I just did offset from plane and I put a plane there. But if you remember, where is my origin? My origin, I drew my part from right there. So let's delete that work plane. And what do we have? We have the YZ plane, which I could have just came in and turned on. That would have been much easier. Or as you'll see, you don't even need to Watch this, hold shift, click on the bottom, 
gets all three. You don't even need to have a plane. The mirror plane, it can be any flat feature. And so with the mirror plane, I just click on it and I'm able to make it. And that is 5.5B mirror feature application number two. We'll go through number three in the sketching in our next video.